There are a lot of people out there who are still afraid to get the COVID vaccine. And our next guest was one of those people. That is until her 15 year old son pleaded with her to go and get it. Please welcome Shaletta Brundage. Yes, who Hello. joins us from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. What a story. Now, Shaletta, first and foremost, welcome to DBL. It's an honor to have you here. We love your transparency. Transparency. Help us understand why were you afraid to go and get the vaccine? You know, there are so many racial disparities in healthcare. I have been treated poorly when I went to get services, whether it was in the emergency room or I was having one of my children. I just didn't feel like doctors cared enough about me, my symptoms and what I was going through. They didn't treat me like they treat my white female counterparts and, and I'm not alone. Uh, so many African-American women share this same story and experience. And so the medical community left me with a bad taste in my mouth. So when they came out with this vaccine, coming to our communities and doing the town halls. I was like, where were you when I almost died having my child? That's the time for town halls. Now is not the time to, to gain our trust. For me, it was too little too late. Mm. Shaletta, I mean, I've so many people in the community can really understand and empathize with what you're saying. Um, now, your son, Andrew, who just turned 15 years old, is actually the person who convinced you to go and get it. So what did he say that changed your mind? Um, he came to me. I had a hot $200 in my pocket. I was ready to give it to him for an <laughs> Xbox or some LeBron James tennis <laughs> shoes. And he said, Mom, keep the money. Keep it. I don't want it. I just want you to go and get vaccinated. But that wasn't enough. I was like, boy, this is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship. I'm your <laughs> mama. You're my child. But, you know, guys, he pushed back, which he doesn't do. And he pushed back with facts and figures and how African-American women are twice as likely to die if they wow. get COVID-19. And, and those facts meant something. But what really touched my heart was when he said, Mom, what's going to happen to me and my three siblings if you get sick from COVID and die? And that's what did it for me. That's what did it. Shaletta, th that sounds like an aha moment to me, and it's far and few between, between when people have those moments. What was the one moment? I know this coming from your son changes your mind. Was there any medical facts, maybe one in particular, that really got you with that awakening moment? Um, you know, when we start talking about people who look like me dying, you know, twice as, as, as much as, as anybody else, um, that really touched my heart. Um, that, that frightened me more than, <laughs> than, than the shot because I really was fearful. I really was afraid, not just the needles, but, but what's in the shot. And, and, you know, we all talk about we don't have enough information. But, you know, folks are dying by the hundreds of thousands. And, and I did not want to be in that number, but it was really emotional for me. You know, when my son said that, you know, he didn't want his special needs siblings to not have wow. me around to take care of them, that meant more to me than anything. And then he starts talking about my husband possibly getting a new wife and she may be younger or prettier <laughs> than me and that she would have to come in and raise the kids. And I was like, oh no, get it right here, baby. That was it. Right here, I'll do myself. Yes. Give it to me. She my husband does not get to be happy with the new wife. He gets me, okay? <laughs> I love it. And good job raising your son because you, you clearly <laughs> gave him the tools to stand up for what he believes is right. And clearly he did. So bravo, mom. Now, we do have a doctor that has been a regular on our show for the past year. She's an expert and she's in the studio and she, I see her, she wants to ask you a question. She's been listening to everything that you're saying. So Dr. Coley, we have Dr. Coley. Yes, we do. What would you say um, to others who are now afraid to get the vaccine? So Shaletta, I want to start just by thanking you for sharing your story, because honestly, it's inspired me. And as a woman of color, despite being a physician, I feel like I have faced a lot of the same barriers with the medical system. So thank you. But as a physician, I'm really inspired by the fact that if I keep knocking on that door, people will open. So please help me understand, what would you say to others after, they, after you've lived through this experience who might be hesitant to get the vaccine? I would say do it afraid. I would say do it afraid, do it for your kids and your community. Um, you know, I thought if I stayed in the house, if I stayed double masked up and kept my gloves on, right, that, you know, that would be enough. But 
COVID is not going away anytime soon. And I have to do my part to keep our numbers down and keep our community safe. And it is so important that I do my part. Everybody has a role to play. It's not somebody else's responsibility. And we have to do this afraid, no matter how we feel, because we have to be here for our kids and our community. The thought of that needle and that vaccine didn't frighten me as much as leaving my four children here by themselves if I die. I, I, I'll take the shot any day of the week. Um, but we just, we have to really address those concerns and those fears. They're valid and they're real. I'm still afraid. I, I'm still afraid. I have another shot to get. As you know, I got the, the Pfizer, so I have a second dose and I'm still afraid, but I'm going to step out on faith and have the courage to change course. Wow. Do it afraid. I love that. I might steal that from my patient. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Dr. Coley, thank you so much. And Shaletta, we really appreciate Amazing. you. Amazing. Thank you for your transparency, your advocacy to our viewers. If you want to hear more from Shaletta, she does have a podcast that you can check out at Shaletta makes me laugh.com. We got a little sneak peek of how comedic she is. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Shaletta. Thank you for what you do. I love the show. You guys are amazing. Thank oh, you. Stunning in that blue.